Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2. This is a fresh Let's Play for me. The game came out of early access last week, so I figured it's time for a new run. So let's jump into it, new game. We're going to be headquartered in Canada. We are not going to be Looch Legend. I was thinking about doing a Legendary run, but I don't want to. I'll explain why I don't want to do Legendary in a minute. We're going to do hard. Um, not very hard, not Legendary. The problem with Legendary and very hard, Legendary in particular, you kind of need to have perfect sliders for that. I don't know the sliders off the top of my head, and I don't want to have to be checking sliders midway through the run, right? So we're not going to do that. So we'll just go with Luch... Luchatronics. Luchatropnics, apparently. Luchatronics. How about Luchatronics? Luchatronics. Um, skill game, special genre. This will help make the early game easier for us. Um, because the special genre, you get a 3% review bonus, and fans never get bored of this game. It is pretty easy to make a decent skill game early on. Um, so this allows us to spam skill games without making our fans bored. So normal number of competitors, normal start year. Competition. Now this is new. The tougher the competition, the more games compete with each other. An oversupply of games with the same genre or theme can quickly lead to so sales figures. All right, so this is low by default. Now, if we put this on normal or top, <laughs> we're not really going to be able to spam skill games. So we want to, we want to leave it on, let's just leave it on low. Maybe some other time I'll try different. So normal development time, normal random events. Normal game speed. Um, Luch, okay. I want to change my perks. I've been going with these same perks lately. Um, CEO, full motivation. Talented, learns faster. All-rounder, the limit for secondary abilities is increased. So I'm a game designer, so I can... My skill in game design can go all the way up to 100. Everything else can only go up to 50. Um, but if we're not an all-rounder, it only goes up to 40. All right, it's a 40 and 50. It's either 40 and 50 or 50 and 60. I forget. Lucky is good. Efficient is good. Good at sequels is good because generally speaking, spamming sequels is a great way to play the game. Like, error free is a fantastic ability in the early game. But once you get QA, it kind of becomes meh. I'm going to go with this. This is what I've been doing lately. I'm just, it works. Let's stick with it. So the abandoned bunker is what I've been doing lately. Um, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's time to try a different building. It's good because it's huge. It's the biggest one. Lagoon city is a new one. So I think, I think I'm going to try this one because I haven't done it before. It's 2,300 square meters, which is way less than 3,800, obviously. That's fine. Um, I am not going to do any of these. Uh, random game concept settings is one I, I do a lot. So this makes the sliders random. But when you're on hard and you do this, it can make it pretty difficult. Uh, I'm not going to look up what the sliders are. But, you know, I have some idea from previous playthroughs and just from being a gamer in common sense. That should be enough to help us in the early game until we figure out where the sliders are supposed to go precisely. So let's jump into it here. Oh, this is a new note now that we're not in early access. Congratulations on the founding of the game studios, this game studio, Lutronics. Mad Games Tycoon 2 is a time travel through the history of the gaming industry. Build your own offices, production facilities, and server rooms. I may not do production facilities this run. Because of less space than what I'm used to, I feel like self-production will be the thing that I sacrifice, but we'll see. Develop the games of your dreams and produce the next next-gen console. Rise from a small garage company to a huge corporation. Have fun. All right, so let's throw it on pause here. Ooh, this is a pretty big starting room, honestly. This is bigger than a starting room you get in the abandoned bunker for sure. So we start with the standard 500,000 cash. So let's make a small lounge. And we will also make a small toilets. This door in. Gonna do the auto furniture, automatically place furniture. I'm not a fan of decorating the rooms. I know a lot of people are. A lot of people, that might even be some people's favorite part of the game. 
and that's fine. So I'm going to do it a little differently than I typical because this is big enough. Because this, I don't know if you can tell, but this is not, store isn't centered, right? So typically I would do the lounge here and the toilets here, but I don't need the toilets to be that big, right? That's kind of a waste of space and a waste of money. Because like this room is 52,000. If we put it over here, it would be even more. So we can put a development room. You don't need to go too crazy with size at the moment. That should be plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight desks. That is plenty. And then we will put a research room. Again, we don't need to go too crazy with size. That's probably more than we need, I would say. Leaves a space to expand both of these rooms, or at least this one. Actually, this one's this one's way bigger than it needs to be. I kind of have regrets. <laughs> that is way, way bigger than it needs to be. Like, I'm almost out of money now because of that. That was a mistake. All right. Well, I mean, it was a mistake, but we'll we'll deal with it. Uh, do we have any commission work here? We do. 21000 It's going to take a bit of time with only one person. So let's hire this person. Ooh, they don't make bugs. And they're efficient. And the other two traits are kind of whatever. Movement speed is increased. Mod do not does not need high quality office equipment, but I give high quality office equipment. Then this person doesn't get cold. They're a leadership bonus, so that's we have a lead des uh, developer built in. Doesn't care if there's a mess and doesn't care if it's crowded. So we're gonna hire both of those. We we'll get through this commission work, and then we will see what's out there. But yeah, I'm <laughs> I made these rooms too big. Right, I spent almost all my initial forty or. 500,000, but I mean, push comes to shove, I can take out a loan for 165,000. And this credit limit goes up over time. I don't want to have to take out a loan, but the reality of these situations, I may have to. Okay, so there's another commission work, another 10 grand. Should be pretty quick. Let's get through that. These commission works are easy money at the start. All right, so that's done. So let's see what there is for contract games. So there's two adventure games, which is the negative trend. We only need 10% for the bonus. There's also a racing game. We do not have any of these genres researched at the moment. What genre do we have researched? Puzzle, which is the trend. So I'm actually going to make a puzzle game first. What do we got for topics? Conspiracies, dungeons, healthcare. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's go with Dungeons. And we'll call this Dungeon Puzzler. I know, I'm, I make very original names for my games. We will go Adults for the target group. Um, we will go, yeah, Multi-Platform, even though it's not really. So we'll go with the Tapple 1 because it has 2.5 million users, whereas the Fairtech has only 0.2. That's kind of a no-brainer choice. We'll turn on all the languages. Another no-brainer choice only cost $2,000. Here, so... These are the sliders I was talking about that I usually randomize. I'm not going to randomize this time. These sliders, I know, I believe puzzle is supposed to be like that. I think. So uh, we can definitely take points at a story. We definitely want points in beginner friendliness. Probably take points at a character design. Length, probably length up. Innovation and depth down. Now, hmm, now for a puzzle, level design, I think, and mission design. Although, in my mind, level design is what it should be, but I think from past experience, it actually cares more about mission design. But in my head, mission design is like quest design, which doesn't really stream screen puzzle game. Um, and we want to go, we're going to go a couple towards casual. And actually, we're going to go another towards beginner friendly. Take another off story. Right? We could probably move some of these further. We can go non-violent. Uh, the easy hard, I'm not sure about. So we'll just leave it there in the middle. Turn on all three of these. And away we go. This way, we'll have a little bit, we'll have an income coming in. It, it, we may not make money off this game because it's our first game. But at least we'll have an income rolling in from sales for this, right? 
It's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so we got new research. We got local high scores. And there's also, I think, the arcade controller support. Arcade joystick support. Um, do I want to have a dedicated research team? Lucky and doesn't go to the bathroom. So that's two good researchers. But, I mean, putting these people in here does increase my... Uh, my monthly cost, right? But I mean, you need people. All right, 30 to 50 estimated review. Um, if I polish this till the bugs are gone, how much better will that get? The problem is how long is it gonna take to polish out these bugs? Quite a while. Um, anybody else we could hire? We got some programmers here. Ooh, I like you, talented and all around her. I'm good at doing engines. We're going to hire you. Actually, we're going to hire this person because they don't make bugs, which is important. That's more for the next game. So do I want to put this out now? No, I want. I kind of want to wait till this research to be done. Then I'll put it out. Okay, so finished development. 30 to 50 is not a great game. It's probably going to lose money. So let's search for a publisher. Uh, let's go with Epic Square. Unfortunately, neither one of these have a fan base that's for puzzle games. So this one, we get an extra dollar, but this one has more market strength. In my experience, go with the better market strength. That's just my experience. Speaking of experience, we gained experience in a ton of things, which is good. So our next game will be a little bit better, right? First thing we're going to do after this is we're going to get a patch out for this. You can see here that it's buggy. See that bug symbol there? Because I didn't wait to get rid of the bugs. So we're going to do a free update. Going to put all this points in. It's only five grand. And we'll get all the bugs out, right? It's only five grand. Although five grand is a decent amount of money at this point. Um, research. All right. So pets is the trend. So let's grab pets. There's a lot of topics in this game. We do not want to research everything automatically. Let's just get pets for now. Kind of a tough spot here because you don't want to have these people sitting around doing nothing. But research is expensive and I don't have a lot of money right now. Right? So it's kind of, it's a bit of a catch-22. It's why I debated having a dedicated research team. Because what you can do is you can take this team and put them in research. Right? All right, so contract game. Okay, well, if we want to make a contract game, it needs to be adventure or racing. So, looks like, looks like we're making another game. But we're out of money right now. Hopefully sales go way up now that we have um, the bugs out, right? So, bank. <laughs> Let's borrow 100 grand. That should be good. That should get us over the hump here. So let's develop. Mm, it's going to need to be another puzzle game. I wish there was more commission work. I wish there was a... I really wish there was a puzzle game in there. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move, move you up to the research. Let's get re this research done. And let's research it a uh, race. Let's research adventure. And then we can do a couple of contract games. All right, so let's grab everybody who's not a researcher. Put them back in here. Commission work, contract game. All right, so uh, this one, we need a 20% review. These ones only need 10. This one pays a little more, so let's do this one. For topic, go conspiracies, haunted mansions, sure. Adults for adventure games, I'm pretty sure. You want adults for that. For the fair tech, that is fine. There's no engine yet. We have to go without an engine. It is 1976 after all. So all these engine features, we have a star in now. So that'll make our game a little better in theory. All right, for adventure. Remember correctly, you want a ton of story, and a ton of character design. I think length and depth can go down a lot. You got to take points out somewhere else to uh, beginner friendliness. Let's try innovation, maybe. 
Not so sure about that one. That might have been a mistake. These ones, I'm not sure where these ones are going to go, so I'm going to leave them. But this is supposed to be 40, 30, 15, 15. I do remember that from previous runs. Turn on everything that matters. So this is the features. So you'll notice a little, this circle, um, it's yellow for some, it's red for some. You can also potentially get green. So red means it doesn't matter for that type of game. You don't even, you don't want to waste the money. Yellow means it matters. Green means it really matters. Obviously none of these are green. And I don't mean this, that green. I mean, the circle needs to be green. When I make a skill game, you'll see what the green circle looks like. All right, so no in-app purchases. We cannot reduce our financing for contract games. Now this is a contract game, do I wanna? So I'm tempted to take out, like I could save $3,000. We only need a 10% review payment or review for bonus payment, but I kind of want to get experience in this, right? So I'm going to put it in. All right, so we got 12,000 right away. Um, let's research, research skill game. Probably research racing as well, obviously at some point. But we're not going <laughs> to... We're not going to polish this as long as as long as we're getting the review that we need for the bonus. We're just going to put it out. Um, all right, so let's grab. I don't know something, something that something that would fit a lot, like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs would fit a lot of different genres in theory, right? I hope. <laughs> I certainly hope. All right, so thirty to fifty, perfect. Hand over the game. Get our money. Hey, 47%, that's with like no polishing or anything. We made nine grand. That's not much, but it's something. All right, so let's make a skill game now. Skill. Um, that's, sure. Um, pet, <laughs> pets are fun. that makes sense right i think all is good for skill i want to say if memory serves i could be wrong go with the tapple of course no engine getting better at this generic crap but to this crap all right and for this oh god i do not remember i think beginner friendliness up story down gotta think level design right um Probably more towards casual, probably non-violent. I believe 40, 10, 10, 40. Character design, innovation, length, depth, length probably down. Not, yeah, well, you know what, yeah. Yeah, let's take length away. I think, maybe. All right, so yes, yeah, so we have three things with green circles and nothing with red. So we can put them all in. So this is why it's easier to get a decent skill game review wise early on than other genres, right? Because all these apply and three of them apply to a high degree, right? So generally speaking, it's a little easier to make a decent game. Well, I'm going to put the researchers in here just to help me get this game out sooner. Question is, they'll get the game out sooner, but is it going to make the game worse? I have no money to do research right now. I kind of regret having a dedicated research team already because they're sitting around not doing anything. Ooh, 50 to 70. But I want to polish a little bit. And you know what? Let's just get it out and then we'll patch it. Um, skill. Now, I did say you want to chase market strength, but having their fan base be skill is pretty important. So let's go with middle. Getting better at stuff, right? We're getting experience. Obviously, this is going to be our best game so far. Should be, I'd say somewhere between 60 and 65 would be my guess. Okay, even better, 67%. I will take it. All right, um, well, I would have loved some commission work. All right, so contract game. So, puzzle, only need 10%. Sure, let's do that. Healthcare puzzle. Uh, I know healthcare is not well. Healthcare might work for a puzzle game, maybe. Let's try YOLO, right? 
All right, so let's, uh, let's use these settings and let's look at our letters from Dungeon Puzzler. Pin fan letters. All right, so disappointed by the graphics, that's fine. So we move the story down too much, obviously. And they want more length, too much for core. They want better mission design. All right, so we got to take some points out somewhere. <laughs> um, geez, try that, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's worth a shot. <laughs> um, I'm going to take out Arcade Joystick Sport. It's just expensive. I'm trying to save a bit of money. I'd, I'd like to make a little bit of money off this, preferably, right? Because I have no money in the bank right now. I have one fan, though. Hey, shout out to my one fan. If anybody's enjoying this video, though, that like button subscribe if you haven't already definitely going to be this is going to be a series just fyi i kind of didn't really mention that this is going to be a long series 50 to 70 that's way better than it needs to be hand over <laughs> hand it over oh yeah that's, mm, okay way too much way too good yeah so we still lost money on that because you got to factor in our staff salaries and all that right all right, so actually Dungeon Puzzler looks like it is going to make money. Not much, but a bit. Another contract game. You need a 20% review. I can get a 20% review on an adventure game. We'll go Dungeons. That should work for adventure in theory. Hopefully. All right, so we're going to be pros at this stuff. But this is why you want to do these contract games early. You can get these leveled up to max stars not making your own games right all right so i'm pretty sure story character design very important well, i already did one adventure game right let's just copy your settings now we don't get to look at the letters from it but how was it i forget and we haven't done an analysis yet um yeah let's just go with this i guess this will be enough we only need 20%, right? This will get us 20% easily, in theory. And let's research race and get that done out of the way. And we're in the we're in the minuses again. Got to get a few more games out, a few more better games. Once you get over that 70% review score, you can start making good games. But we're in the positives for money in the bank again, 50 to 70, perfect. Right, because we only need a 20 but I don't know if we're actually going to make any money. 60% is fine. So now we have, we can put our games on two platforms, which is nice. Oh, we made 16,000 off that one. That's actually really good. Um, That's actually a pretty good reward considering we only need a 10%. Uh, and none of these really make sense for racing. Let's go with dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure all works for racing. Again, this is if memory serves. Okay, here. Hmm. All right, so story can go down for sure. Probably a couple points. Level design's got to go up for sure. Oh, I forget where these are supposed to go for racing, though. Is it like this? I want to say. I know some, there is a genre that's this. I'm not sure if it's racing, but I'm going to try that. I know I didn't really move much around here. Um, that's fine. We don't need, all we need is 10%, right? <laughs> that's it. Um, take keyboard. No, wait, what's this? This is for a computer. So we need to leave keyboard support on. I want to get experience in those, so I'm going to leave them on. Oh, no, we need controller support, so we can take keyboard support out then? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that used a computer. The Tapple 2 uses a computer. All right, so we got, like, no money in the bank. But I'm going to grab, like, cars or, you know, cabs, cars, something. Something that we can use 
as a topic for future racing games, right? But I, I got to start getting some of my own games out now, right? I've been doing too many contract games probably at this point. All right, 30 to 50. I know that's not good, but it's contract game. We just need 10%. That's fine. 40%. That's actually better than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, we made like no money off that. All right, well, we're now we're in the summer slump, so sales are going to go down. We did make money off Dungeon Puzzler. Barely. Oh, wait, did I not update? Oh, my God, did I? I didn't update Pets are Fun. I completely forgot. That's negatively infecting sales big time. Uh, that hurts. All right, let's do this commission work. 21 should be a quick 21,000. Um, grab these two. Move them over, help them get through that. Then we'll move them back. Maybe we'll even have money to do a little research. All right, so the Mad Games Convention. You can do small booth, middle booth, large booth. So you can advertise your games. Now, you might say, well, Lutz, you only have two games. So why not just do a middle booth? The thing is, the large booth brings in a lot more fans. A lot more. It's worth it. So we got... 1600 fans considering we only have 123 fans that is an insanely high amount of extra fans right that will help sales big time all right well we have no money again so which makes me tempted to do a contract Ooh, there's a pretty couple of these are pretty good like payout wise right we can make money off this for sure. So let's do that. Uh, adults. Uh, let's just copy what we did. For this one, 60%. Yep, that's fine. Turn on all that junk. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we'll make some money there. Actually, we're gonna I'm gonna leave my researchers there to get through this quicker. It's like I said, it's just a contract game. Yeah, look at my sales on this game now. They went up after I patched it and got, and got all the bugs out. I should have done a lot sooner. But I didn't. Because I'm awesome. 61%, slightly better than the last one. Made 21,000 off that one. This is a researcher, yes. This is the other researcher, yes. All right, so let's uh, grab another topic here. Aliens, we can use that for a few things, right? All right, so Summer Slump will be over soon-ish. Oh, got to do commission work. Ooh, 40,000. Come back. Come back and help get through that fast, and then you can research aliens. That's a lot of money. <laughs> like, at this point in the game, 40,000 is a fortune. Dungeon Puzzlers off the market. Lost six grand on it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. That was my first game. That's close enough to a profit that I'm calling that a win. And it didn't get the benefit of a holiday season. Oh, another contract came up. I might even be able to pay off my loan soon. Whoa, now. Just, oh, oh, contracts keep rolling in. But what I really want to do is I want to research QA, which costs, I believe, 200000 Right? I probably won't pay off my loan until after that. Right, researchers out. Develop a game. All right, so let's do puzzle again. Now we got to be careful. So this, it shows your last five genres. Obviously, we've only done two. Now this is, doesn't include contract games. It's just your own games. If you have one genre here three times, your fans get bored. Now, because skill is our special genre, it's immune to that. But yeah, so how long is this a trend for? 26 more weeks, yes. All right, so let's go dinosaurs. All this dino quest. Adults, obviously. Multi-platform, yes. Tapple, and let's grab the... Wait, I thought there was a Tapple. Oh, Tapple 2 has been announced. Tapple 2 is not out yet, but it's been announced. All right, so let's copy that 61. 
good enough. As long as this is over 60, I'll be happy, right? Basically. And I might polish it a bit, right? Get rid of some bugs, which will help the score, obviously. Actually, I'm tempted to take out a loan in order to be able to afford QA. Kind of. How much more? Oh, we, we could do 600,000 more. Uh, the monthly interest is only 1,200 bucks, right? So yeah. Now it's gonna take them for freaking ever because there's only two of them. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab another. Oh, there's three researchers out here. Ooh, yeah, efficient, lucky. Yeah, let's grab all three. Those were some decent positive traits. And I just realized this video was over 30 minutes long. So I'm going to end here. I will be back with episode two. If you're psyched for this series, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.